Hey folks, Dr. Mike Israel here for Renaissance Periodization, fitness myths video number three. Vegan diets are healthier than non-vegan diets. Oh boy, the triggering is upon us. We'll talk about the claim itself. We're talking about why it's probably wrong, where the grains of truth are, and what the take-home message actually is. So the claim here is that a vegan diet is by design more healthy because it is vegan than pretty much any omnivorous diet where you eat animal as well as plant products. And the other sort of implication of this myth or this idea is that if you're really serious about getting healthy and losing fat, you'll go vegan. And there's no shortage of YouTube comments on every single video on nutrition that it's uh, a few uh, vegan folks that have has really been impassioned and will just say things like that all the time. Like you say, healthy diet, unless you really meets in a healthy diet, if you're serious about being healthy, you're going to go vegan. And I'll see how right or wrong they are. So it turns out that the nutrition literature is pretty vast. Lots of comparisons between vegan diets and diets that have animal products in them. And when both diets are healthy, there are really no differences between vegan diets and non-vegan diets. Now, a lot of early literature compared vegan diet, which was mostly healthy, whole, unprocessed foods, compared to the standard Western diet, which is like, you know, a turkey sandwich for lunch, potato chips as a snack, and I had to work late, so Burger King for dinner. Like, lots of diets are better than that diet, maybe all diets. So it turns out when both diets are healthy, Vegan diets are no more healthy on average than health-conscious diets designed with some animal products in them. What is, uh, what is a healthy diet? Generally speaking, if a diet is minimally processed, is high in lean protein sources, well, some kinds of fatty sources are totally fine, veggies, fruits, whole grains, and healthy fats like nuts and seeds and oils and avocados, etc. If you have that kind of diet, and the lean protein sources come from vegan sources, or if they come from animal sources, gee whiz, you know, it really doesn't matter. You get roughly the same health, especially if on a vegan diet, you supplement with B vitamins and a few other things to make sure that you're not running low on it, because typically we get that from animal sources. So the reality here is vegan diets are for sure healthier if they're healthy vegan diets than just unhealthy regular eating. But if you make the other comparison diet omnivorous, it's still healthy, like something like a bodybuilder would eat or CrossFitter or just some very health conscious person. You know, like basically the claim is like, if you have a, a like a nice ocean caught salmon, some brown rice and some veggies and a slice of fruit, that plate is less healthy than the same plate except the salmon is replaced with like a tofu dog that vegans would eat. That's just not true. It's just not true. Meat is not the source of poor health. It is mostly an extreme level of processing of foods, which leads to a hyperconsumption of foods, which leads to a hypercaloric state, which leads to obesity and all these other bad health things. So that's the rough cut. Is it fundamentally, this is actually a myth. You don't need to be vegan if you want to be the healthiest you can be. Now, properly done vegan diets, as far as grains of truth, can be healthy. They can. And when I was writing this slide, it was like grains of truth. And then I had to just talk more smack because unfortunately it leads into the next thing. Used to be back in the 80s and 90s when veganism first started its ascension in the Western world, there were basically zero vegan products out on the shelves. Almost anything processed was going to have animal products in it which is why vegans typically ate a diet of lots of fruits and veggies, lots of whole grains, and minimally processed vegan protein sources. Almost no junk food, almost no snacks. Their idea of snacks was like, oh, I'm just snacking on some nuts, you know? And you're like, oh, that's kind of a boring snack. And the thing is, that's back when vegans were super lean and super healthy. As veganism became more popular, corporations decided vegans probably want to eat tasty foods they made vegan foods, but made them ultra processed and super palatable, very, very tasty. And guess what? Those corporations weren't wrong. Vegans really do want that stuff. And it turns out that that led to a revolution in the fraction of vegan foods that were now junk foods, essentially. And vegan junk food is such a big deal. People go way out of their way to get it. Now they don't have to because it's in every store. You blink your eyes and there it is. 
that's maybe half of the entire Whole Foods store is that it's mild exaggeration, but vegan junk food. I used to get these brownie cookies at Whole Foods back when I lived in Philadelphia, and they were like, 100% vegan right on there. I couldn't tell if it was vegan. It was fucking so good. It had loads of oil and fat and delicious sugar, all of it vegan. But you know what I'm saying? Your boy wasn't eating 18 of these motherfucking things every day because I would have been enormous and super unhealthy if that was the case. So the days of vegans de facto having to eat healthy foods are over and gone. Which means nowadays, if you say, well, I'm going to diet uh, to lose weight and become healthier, and, and I know I'm very serious about it, I'm going to turn vegan, that is a guarantee of nothing nowadays. And it's just a guarantee that your junk food will look different and maybe cost a little bit more, and that's it, right? That's it. So what are the best practices to take away from this? If you want to go vegan, it should probably be for ethical reasons. That's easily the strongest argument for veganism. If you want a few more arguments for veganism and some against, take a look at a video we have. It's like 10 reasons to go vegan or something like that. Uh, we made it on, on this channel a few months ago on YouTube. It's pretty popular. It goes through, they get out like, a, it's a really in-depth video. It's like an hour. It's really super minute philosophical points. I think towards the end, you kind of get the idea that like, most of us could probably eat fewer animals that like think a lot and have feelings like pigs and cows. It sucks to kill them. So if you want to go more vegan, that's totally fine. If you want to go completely vegan, that's totally fine. But it shouldn't be for your health because veganism is not a guarantee of health or even a marginal increase in health. It should be for things like ethics, right? Some environmental concerns there, but they're relatively minor, especially with the future of technology ascending as it is in 10 or 20 years. Vegan omnivorous diets are going to have no different effect on the environment because everything is going to be grown in vertical agriculture and uh, what's it called? We'll be eating, you know, completely artificial meats in any, in any case. So that's, a, I think, a very moot point in the grand scheme. But the ethical concern is there and I think that's where you should derive veganism from. That's where veganism is on its strongest footing. Anytime vegans say, oh, do it for your health, they're putting themselves into a situation in which they have to defend essentially uh, indefensible points and it makes veganism as – um, as a social movement, look not so great. I would I would recommend against it. Uh, at the end of the day, you can do almost any diet as far as macro composition or sourcing in a healthy way, as long as you stick to minimally processed healthy ingredients and stay in, in calorie balance and eat enough proteins, carbs, and fats to keep you upright, which is very few of any of them. So the rest can come from, you know, you can eat a low protein, high carb, low fat diet, you know, high carb, or sorry, you know, high protein, low carb, high fat diet, and 50 other permutations, no problem, because uh, your body's super adaptable as long as you get very bare minima, and most of the foods are from largely unprocessed healthy sources, and you don't overeat on calories, man, that's really like 90-some percent of health right there. You will continue to hear claims in the next year, three years, five years about veganism being healthier. The number one source of those claims are vegans that would all do good intention, really do believe vegan diets are healthier, but they're not so keen on making sure they're not wrong. They don't do a lot of uh, red teaming themselves because they're so dedicated to pushing veganism as much as possible. If there's remotely evidence for the fact that veganism could be healthier, they're going with it. They're advocating for it because anything that can lead to less animal suffering, generally vegans like. My view is a little bit more long view than that. I think as an advocacy group, you shouldn't say things that aren't true because then you get into a situation where people can say, hey, you lied to me once. Why should I believe anything you say now? It's a bad look. So I think as far as vegan advocacy, the health thing should be dropped altogether and you should just focus on the ethics of, you know, pigs suffer and they're in incredible pain and there's fucking millions of them dying all the time and that's fucking terrible. This is a good enough reason to go vegan. We don't have to make up claims about health, which is just categorically false. Folks, that's all I have. Try to be a bit more vegan. See you next time.